Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I decided to do another daily vibe for the 28th. And we just, because, I don't know why. We're just going to see what happens. This for the 28th. What do we got? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This reading may or may not be for you. I think because the other one was so specific. You know. What about love? Let's talk about love. Is there any new love? I don't think there is. <laughs> oh, well, let's see what we got here. Um, it's a time of isolation. You know, it's a time of retreat. We have a wounded warrior here. This is a wounded warrior. Emperor. Well, of course. Six of Pentacles. Rejection. Not receiving. Be oh. Yikes. This is because somebody's sneaking away. This is a sneaky individual right here. new opportunity. So this is a brand new opportunity starting over, starting fresh, finding that focus to take charge. Hmm. You know, this is growing weary. We have somebody here that has been growing weary, but this is taking back control, taking control, doing what's right, being responsible. But the Six of Pentacles reverse. This is... Uh, not giving. And this is a card of deception. This is a card of cheating. Looking, this guy is looking back at what, well, you reap what you sow. Looking back at a loss. It looks like we have somebody looking back at a loss, looking back at a situation. This is a card of integrity. This is where somebody finds the integrity to do the right thing. After they have been deceptive. After they have been lying. We have this liar. This cheater. This shady individual. Who is looking back at. Maybe he's looking back at the wounds he has caused. Hmm. Somebody, you know, that is a card of integrity where somebody finds the integrity and the backbone to do the right thing. It's like there's a new opportunity here. There's a new path. There's a new doorway opening. Oh, Queen of Cups. We have a big hearted woman here. This is a woman that has a big, big heart. Five of Pentacles may have left her behind. Loss of a relationship, loss of a friendship. This is a loss of some sort. Hmm. Oh, God, this is heaven. Heaven sent. This is protection. This is universal protection. This is healing. This is renewal. This is a new path. This is a new path opening up. A new golden opportunity. So I feel like we have this wounded individual. With a really big heart. Who may be being left behind. by somebody who deceived them, lied to them, cheated them. Because now they have a new opportunity. We have a new big opportunity opening here. Goodness gracious. 
it's like somebody i mean there could have been a third party situation here with the seven of swords right above the three of cups somebody may have cheated or they may have you know involved another person and they may be hoping for forgiveness hoping for a renewal hoping to start over just saying just saying that could be for some of you. Something is about to be revealed. Okay? I feel as though, you know, somebody is probably going to get left behind. I think we have somebody here that is making a decision, a firm decision, to no longer give to a situation and release. I have got to release this. There's no reunion, there's no nothing to celebrate, there's no joy and happiness in this shady situation, whatever it is. I mean, the Seven of Swords is deception, betrayal. Somebody has betrayed another person and lied to them. And I feel like we have somebody here that is like seeing the light in the situation. The moon reversed. Somebody is seeing the light and I, it's like they, they, it's time. It's, it's time to heal from this betrayal. It's time to release. It's time for a change. It's time for a transformation. We, we have somebody here that is releasing. This is a new beginning. This is a rebirth and this is a rebirth. We have a renewal here and I feel like we have somebody here that is basically dying to live again. And in order to do so, they have to release a relationship or a friendship that betrayed them. And when they do, a new doorway opens up. The clarity, the truth, a revelation, awakening, a wake up call. But that moon reversed and I just shuffled. Oh my God, I think you guys, I hope you saw that. I just shuffled. If you didn't see it, you heard it. The moon reversed again on the bottom. I'm telling you what, some sort, something is about to come to light. Something is about to be revealed. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Somebody has been lying. There could have been fear of rejection, fear of having to give to a situation. I don't know. Either way, somebody has been lying. And whatever the hell they've been lying about, it's about to come out. The truth is about to be revealed. You can't pretend anymore. I think we have somebody here that tried to control, tried to cling to control. Perhaps this person has now been rejected. Perhaps this person has now been released. And now they're going to reveal the truth. I don't know. This is, this is wish fulfillment. I mean, the, the star card is a card of wish fulfillment. It's a dream come true. There's a new opportunity that could lead to a dream come true. This is a miracle. It's a blessing. Believe it or not, this loss of whatever it is, the Three of Cups reverse is a loss. It's a loss of a friendship or a loss of a relationship. This loss is going to be a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise because it's going to open up a bigger, beautiful, humongous opportunity. What has been hidden 
is about to be revealed. Get ready. Get ready for it. Something is ending and something new is beginning. That's what we got here. Somebody is letting go of a one-sided situation where there was no reciprocation. They are releasing it and leaving it behind in search for... They're going after their dreams. I'm going after my dreams. I mean, this is a dream. So somebody is going to get what they want, by the way. Somebody's wish is about to come true. This is the raw truth. And somebody's wish is about to come true. What goes around comes around. Somebody has been juggling. You know, trying to... It's like... <laughs> playing games trying to balance out the their emotions trying to balance out everything and it's caused some chaos in their life and I feel like we have somebody here that is at a point where they don't want to do it anymore I don't want to play this game anymore that's what I see that's what I feel Somebody is about to accept the challenge even though they are weak and they are weary. And there's a lot of doubt and fear in their head. I feel like we have somebody here that is about to go after this woman with a big heart. That they left behind or they ghosted or they hurt. They're probably hoping for a renewal, hoping for forgiveness, hoping for rebirth, hoping to start over. So I don't know who this reading is for. If you are completely single, completely single, be prepared perhaps for somebody from your past to come back. I just got to be honest with you. It doesn't have to be somebody from your past. It could be somebody brand new could be somebody brand new that has been wounded by another woman or another man that couldn't love them. Somebody has been wounded, very wounded. Extremely wounded, ghosted, left out in the cold, left behind. But I feel like there is some sort of healing energy or healing. new opportunity could be a person could be a new person I don't know somebody is headed in so this is the card of manifestation somebody has manifested a new opportunity something that is big and bright and beautiful and solid and stable after being betrayed so if you have been betrayed and wounded be prepared for some sort of dream or wish or something, prayer, to be answered. <laughs> something is about to be revealed. Something that, something that has been below the surface, it's been cooking. It's been cooking is about to, you know, come out of the oven. Good luck. <laughs>